All right, uh, time to play some Hitman 3. It just came out, and uh, I just got it. Well, I got it a while ago, but, you know, due to some server errors and stuff, I couldn't play. Also, we had a power outage, so <laughs> that just happened. But yeah, you know, there's a little bit of outrage with this because of the pricing model that uh, IO Interactive has uh, has come up with, which is kind of stupid. It's it, admittedly very dumb, but... From what I gather, uh, you if you've played Hitman 1 and 2 and you have it in your Steam library, you don't need to get any of the other stuff except for either the special edition, uh, the, the deluxe edition, or the regular standard edition. And then you can, you know, either get, like, the deluxe pack, which is, like, the bonus content add-on thing, and um, the Seven Deadly Sins DLC, which I don't think I've gotten. So, um... Yeah, the deluxe pack I didn't get, and this one, not yet. I'll get it later when it gets a little cheaper, but whatever. So, yeah, basically, I mean, if you already have one and two in your library, your Steam library, it should automatically detect it. Uh, <laughs> and that's, the, you know, I mean, that's why IO is getting kind of flack for this, because they have access passes for the games. And I think it's for the people who don't play Hitman, but it's sort of, like, not clear... It's very confusing. I, I mean, I know I had to do some research before getting this. But, uh, yeah. So. Otherwise, I mean, it, it all works. Uh, I've got all of my uh, Hitman 2 stuff imported. So, the Game of the Year edition, the Standard, and the uh, Deluxe editions of Hitman 2. It's all there. Plus, I did the uh, Profile uh, Progression uh, import. So, here's Hitman 3. Here's Hitman 2, which they gave me 20 out of 20 for the mastery, which is kind of weird because uh, it doesn't look like I've got all the challenges. And same thing for Hitman 1. So all my stuff is there. All my unlocks, uh, I think, from Hitman 1 and 2. Uh, Yeah, hold on. Just wait. Uh, Let's see. Hitman 3... Oh, Hitman 2, here we go. Yeah, I didn't get all the uh, unlocks. Oh yeah, I didn't do this one, huh? Silver Tongue? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a little weird how the progression unlock thing works, but... Oh, and okay, this is the, um... oh, this is the bonus mission. Okay, yeah. So this is the one, 63 out of 111. Okay, cool. Yeah, alright, so the progression seems to be there. Uh, what I had to do was uh, link my account, which was already done, and do the little tool thing. And uh, it says that you have to um, play the game at least once. I did that, and uh, if I remember correctly, I loaded up into the game and none of my stuff was there, so I exited the game. That's when the power went out. And I had to wait, and then I just got back in, and all my stuff is there, so. Yeah, let me just uh, check this out. Uh, I don't know. Are these the new elusive targets? That's weird. Oh, what did I do? Huh. I think I played this one before. Hold on, just wait. Huh. That's weird. I don't quite understand. It's it's very confusing. So, you know, you, you're just going to have to excuse me here because uh don't quite understand. Uh, I thought I got these. Iconoclast? Okay, this is, this is new. Dartmoor? Okay. Berlin. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got some of these already. Oh, no, wait. Oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah, this is Hitman 1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this. I'll have to check my, uh, videos, because... Oh, nope. Oh, no, I don't want that. That's a new thing. All right, well, you know, we did miss out on a lot of elusive targets because of, uh, the year exclusivity with, um... 
epic. So hopefully these will come back. Uh, or maybe I think there was a elusive target arcade. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let me just. Uh, <laughs> there's a VR mode as well, which I'll try later on. And um, before we do anything, let me get to the options here and uh, see if I got everything. Auto save VR. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm play VR later. All right. We got that. We got all this good stuff. I did try to set this up before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Interactions. Okay. VR comfort. I'll do that later. Now some keyboard. I set up some key bindings. I think I set up some key bindings. Uh, cover is space, which is weird. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'll get used to it. It's been a while since I played it, man, so. Audio is fine. The language is okay. Got the subtitles. I'll put the subtitles on for VR. My IOI account, which I don't want to show. Privacy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, whatever. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So, like I said, if you have Hitman 1 and 2 automatically in Steam, it should uh, link it up. So, we've got the prologue. Got this stuff. Hitman 2, Hitman 3. I actually want to check something before I go. Let me, uh, inventory. Let me see if I got all my, uh, unlocks here. Some of the stuff didn't carry over because there were paid DLC for Hitman 2, I think, but, uh, yeah, okay. Yep, I got the, <laughs> I remember, I remember this, the, um, the little Hitman 2 logo on the, uh, SMG for some reason. That was kind of dumb, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I've got all my stuff. Yep. Okay, I think I got, uh, a new bat. <laughs> Gear, briefcase, yep, okay. Where's the, um, is this the one, the homing briefcase? I don't exactly remember which one is the homing briefcase. Not that one. No, I don't know. Melee stuff, yep, okay, cool, yep. Got all my stuff, yep. Distractions, poisons, explosives. These are all unlocks from the um, previous games, which should be there. Cool. Oh, uh, suits. Oh, no. Give me, give me my suits. I know some of the suits didn't carry over, so... Let's see, we got some of this, okay, formal, coats, casual, <laughs> the Freedom Fighter, uh, exclusive, I think, yeah, all right, well, you know what, let's, uh, let's actually get into the game, so, Hitman 2, I'm already done, so, Hitman 3, let's, uh, watch the cinematic. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Okay, cool. Let's do the first mission then. Look closer. 
in the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Okay, cool. We're getting back into it. All right. So we got our cinematic. We got our targets here. You can read that if you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, libertarian. <laughs> All right. Sure. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we got the other target. You read that if you want. Uh, just gonna quick browse through it. Current head of the family, youngest of the Providence, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, sure. Uh, haunts him to this day. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, let's plan. Let me check the starting location, which I still haven't done the mastery yet, so I'll get to that later on. Oops. Smuggled item. Nothing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gear, fiber wire. Hmm. Which one? <laughs> Obviously, we'll go with the fiber wire. Uh, <clears throat> All right, cool. Well, um... Let me see. I'm trying to remember which one is uh, which. Surveillance cameras active. Cameras alert guards. Okay, yeah, that's the that's what I usually play. Professional, right? I think I'd play professional. <laughs> Again, it's been a year since I played Hitman, because, well, due to the exclusive uh, epic exclusivity deal, so I don't exactly remember what I played. But, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Let me check out the challenges here. Lots of challenges. I'll have to get through these so I can level up my mastery. Got some mission stories, cool. And leaderboards, which uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some people out here who are really good. I'm not one of them. But okay, let's do it. Hopefully uh, there, aren't, there aren't any too many new uh, uh, mechanics, because uh, maybe I should have played the tutorial. There was a tutorial when I first started up, but I, I just wanted to get all the uh, progression stuff and the... Uh... Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, I just wanted to get all the progression stuff uh, and locations imported, so I didn't really focus on the tutorial. And also the graphics. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Uh, before I was interrupted, I was trying to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, set up the graphics so that it runs in 60 frames. Which it seems to be doing, so far. Looks pretty good. Uh, 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 uh it looks pretty good on my outdated machine. But, <laughs> yeah. Did a little bit of benchmarking, too, so, uh... Yeah. Let's just play the game. Uh, scale, okay. Drop down. Mm, locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Camera. How do I use the camera? Press inventory. And camera. Yeah, I I do need to change something. That uh, that key right there for um, agility actions. I think I'm gonna change that to space. Uh, oops. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Oops, that's not good. There we go. And then cover. Oh, melee is bound to Q. I really want melee on Q. Hmm. C. Wait, wait. Did I uh, get rid of C? I got rid of C, right? Because I changed uh, C was crouch, but I put it to control. I'm gonna put cover to C. There we go. That should be good. I just need to press C to take cover. Take disguise. Maybe I should move that to X. Oh. Well, that's... That's dumb. Hold on. Space. Ugh. This is bad. 
Um, next ammo, previous ammo. That's good. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Uh, ignore this because that's I I did a special thing for my mouse, where uh, two of the buttons are page up and page down. Uh, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. That's zoom. Let's see. Okay. All right. That should be good. Surrender. Oh, wait, surrender was space. No, I don't want that on space. Let's do that on. Um... Wait, wait, X was no, no. C was cover. Take the skies was X. There we go. And then Z, I think I'll use Z. No, no, Z's drop item. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure I got all my binds correct. Okay. All right, cool. Position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Okay. Let's climb up. There we go. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Holster. Need a holster. There we go. Okay. H is holster. Disguise skydiving suit. <laughs> no. Just, uh... <clears throat> On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the set. All right. It's running pretty well, too, so. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectable Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this chief might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of the world, which is today the tallest building in the world. So I'm humbly proud to open the Burj Al Ghazali. Cool. All right. Nice. Yes. I might ask about the condoms. I need to find a way to the targets. They're all the way over there. I did suggest the guest room, but she finds the idea. Oh, we got something. Check out this uh, kiosk here. Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. All right, so what do we got? Let's see. Terminal, uh, uh, server room. All right. Cool. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. 
infiltrate the staff area. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. It's nothing that I haven't done before. So, you know, let's hit man. Okay, staff area. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Four, seven, zero, six. Okay. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Sure, why not? <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 no. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright, I'll try that again. Sorry, I'm getting my bearings here. It's been a while since I played. Do 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 do. Come on. Command. Looks like the suspect has left the scene. All is clear. Okay, yeah, go away, please. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Let's try that again. This time, let's not get caught. There's so much going on here. I've had four staff update meetings already. Now that crazy manager called us into another meeting. So now we've got to memorize new lists of guest names, new passwords for the terminals, and new special dietary needs. I mean, there's an actual limit to the amount of information the human brain can contain. And I'm pretty sure I've hit it. And to top it off, they just told us we wouldn't be getting overtime payment because we're just expected to be here. Can you believe it? God, could this day get any worse? Okay, don't come over here. Oh, blessed silence. Finally. Thank you, God. All right. Well, there's two of them there. Don't know what I'm going to do. What's this? Ah, yes. Distractions. Okay. Pick up this hammer. Okay. Let's wait for him to turn it off. Come on. Get over here. Turn it off. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Got ourselves a disguise. Uh, X. And uh, let's drag this guy into the uh, closet here. Conveniently placed. Very nice. All right. How do I hide my hammer? Okay, cool. What's up, guys? I'm just here as a normal waiter. Hey, how you doing? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Okay. Camera. I need my camera. How do I zoom in? How do I zoom in? Page up, page down, navigate. Oh, there we go. Do I have to get closer? Oh, I do. <laughs> Let's just wait for this guy to go away. Come on. 
Okay. Yes, good. Okay, good. Uh, vault. Use that hitman strength to... Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Wait, how do I uh, use the, um... Do I use the, uh, thing? Wait, hold on. Use camera. I don't want to use the camera. Huh. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to, uh, go up? Oh, no, I can't go up. Hold on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I thought, <laughs> I thought I was supposed to use the, um, whatchamacallit? No, I just need to go up this pipe. Okay. <laughs> and it seems I think I, I lost my uh, silent assassin rating by the icon down there near the map, so... Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's alright. Just uh, trying to, you know, get used to this new uh, Hitman game. It's been a while since I played, so... Okay. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Release the winch. Nope, I don't need to do that. There's a toilet here, and I think oh, there's a security camera there. That's not good. Hmm. Tamper with the toilet control panel. Oh, oh go, oh go, 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 go. That's not good. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Wait for this guy to go away. There we go. Time for you to leave, buddy. Okay, storage room. I'm just gonna get the um uh, from the the the, the, the oh, what did I say? I, was gonna get, I can't remember what it was. Now. Okay, drag. Uh, G dump. All right, I need to get I need to get his disguise. There we go. Grab another hammer, just in case. Okay, what else we got here? Pick up the janitor key, that's good. Anything else in here that we can pick up? Nope. Oh, is this the server room? Hmm, what do these do? Sabotage server rack. Well, we need to access the terminal, so. Under function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. One of the racks, okay. We'll just, uh, we'll choose this one. Damn it, a silent alarm is chipped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Hello. 
everything looks just fine. Oh, damn IT guys and their stupid equipment. I'm sick of coming down here. System online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. A key card, huh? Okay. Uh, sure. Let's just, uh... to uh, uh pick up the key card pick up quick and people tend to stay out of that room anyways so no one will get hurt I'll take it home when my shift is over wait hold on just said something about an exploding golf ball Whatever. That's okay. Let's just uh, get through this. Uh, let's see. Key card. Have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Anything different? Mm. The door is locked. Admin privileges. Well, here goes. Seven guards are heading your way. Oh, come on. I think this one's different. Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Building cameras are now disabled. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Okay, and then... Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Please do Time back. to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. 
they wouldn't suspect one of their own. Okay, let's drag this guy into the bathroom here so nobody can find him. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully nobody uh, goes into the bathroom because that would be bad. But, oh, wait, there's a dump here. We can dump him. All right. Let's uh, disguise ourselves. Okay, holster the gun. Now we need to get to the elevator. Where is the elevator? It's over there. Hello. Yeah, I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother I have to shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, have a good shift tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Six nine two seven. Try to remember that. Oh no, that's not good. Let's just uh, go past him. Conference room. Mm okay. Yep, I'm fine. I'm just one of you guys. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. It's a busy day for us. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, we need to discuss Alexa. Oh no, come on. Uh, this is what I hate. Okay, good. What's there to discuss? She left us. At the most critical moment, she abandoned ship. That family has never been trustworthy, and Alexa just proved to us that she, and indeed any of her heirs, isn't up to the task. I agree. She displayed extremely poor judgment. I hope Omar is able to step up. Please vacate the room. This is a private conversation. Oh, come on. Keep talking. Seriously? All right. What's this? Carl, did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You. You are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How but now? You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington Twin, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me, and at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. 
What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. 47. Finish it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Okay, let me just clean up here and uh, exit the mission. All right, cool. Pick up that kitchen knife, because that's pretty useful. All right, let's get out of here. How do we get out of here? Activate the secure room. Oh, we can exit out right there. Let's just do that. mastery. All right, let's see what we unlocked. Too bad I didn't get Silent Assassin, but ah, whatever. I'll work on that later. Okay, we got a novelty snow globe. Cool. Hidden stash in the kitchen. A starting location. And that's it. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. And... We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's Hitman. Hitman, uh, the Hitman games, the newer ones at least, are still pretty good mechanically and uh, gameplay-wise. 
It's just the whole, like, you know, the pricing structure kind of put people off, which I, I, mean, I completely understand. I understand where IO Interactive were coming from, trying to cater to those who haven't played Hitman, but at the same time, they made it so confusing, right? <laughs> With all these access packs and stuff like that to... Just, uh, yeah, so if you're, if you've already played the first two games, uh, Hitman 1 and Hitman 2, just get the standard edition. Don't get the deluxe edition. You can get the deluxe pack later on. Don't worry about it. It's DLC and the Seven Deadly Sins DLC as well. So you can just, you know, hold off on that. Uh, as far as price goes, yes, it is full price, but I mean, you know, it is, uh, well, technically it's. I guess a new game. I mean, yeah, there was a thing where Epic was selling a discount on it, but well, you know, it's Hitman. I, I do like the game. I, I love the game, so I paid full price for it. Oh, well, the sta the standard edition, not the deluxe edition. Don't don't waste your money on that. But uh, yeah, uh, it's still pretty good. You know, uh, again, with all the controversy with the uh, the Steam release pricing and all that stuff. It, it kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of dumb, uh, on IO Interactive's part, but it's still a good game. Uh, I don't, you know, it works and, uh, you know, performance wise, uh, at 60 frames, you know, I set the settings to uh, what I would consider medium. Let me just go back to the menu here. So it's no, there's no ray tracing or whatever, you know, the expensive kind of graphics, but it runs really well. So that's uh, that's a thing. That's good. Here's my settings. Yes, ignore the resolution because I have a really crappy monitor. But uh, yeah, you know, got the level detail. It's on uh, yeah high shadow quality. SSAO is on medium because that's the most performance uh, intensive. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it it uh, it runs really really well. You know, no real frame you know frame rate drops or anything like that it plays the same it's still pretty good and uh yeah that's hitman 3 i'm gonna play some more of this because i like playing hitman <laughs> just remember if you're if you're into hitman and you're, if you're confused about the whole like uh access pass you know trilogy kind of thing just get the standard edition you if you have hitman 1 and hitman 2 on steam those will automatically get added to your uh, to your Hitman 3, because you know Steam uh, integration or whatever. So just get the standard edition, or if you're like you know if you want, you can get the deluxe edition and the uh, Seven Deadly Sins DLC. I'll get those later, but yeah, just get the standard edition. Don't bother with the trilogy pack. Don't bother with the uh, Hitman 2 access pack. Don't bother with that. That's that's for people who haven't played the games. Okay, just just to just to make that clear, those packs are for people who haven't played the game. If you've already played the game, if it's already in your library, even if it's not installed, you know, the you know, Hitman 3 will automatically detect all your content. So you can have all the maps from uh, Hitman 1, Hitman 2, and the side missions even. So I got Patient Zero, bonus missions, special assignments. I still don't have this. See, this is the new stuff. But <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, Hitman. It's fun. Weird pricing, a decision by IO Interactive. But uh, yeah, it's still the same old Hitman we all know and love. Just uh, with all this weird stuff buying it. But uh, that's yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, I will see you guys next time.